girls who came late please page number 149 we were comparing the two shoes um comparing the two shoes uh zishan i would like to give you one question yes miss okay see ya zishan i'll give you with big numbers 15 over 7 15 over yes 7 and 39 over Thirty-nine over three. Come on, do mm. tell me what should I do? Um, first thing you will uh, multiply. Okay, what should I multiply where? You multiply fifteen and three. Uh, okay, fifteen and three. So same number in the denominator. Seven and three also, right? And here, what should I multiply? Seven. Thirty-nine to. Seven and three also two. Seven. Very good. So what do I get? Fifteen times three is seventy-five. Seven times three is what? One. Twenty-one. Yes. And let me do thirty-nine seven. I don't know. Seven is uh, sixty-three. Then it's twelve. One hundred twenty-three. Seventy-three. Two seventy-three. Yes. Over twenty-one. So this one is greater. You understood the concept, right? Okay. Dana. Yeah. Come on, say me. I'll give you the simplest one. What should I do to know which is greater? Um, nine multiply by four and multiply by five. Four times nine and. And four times nine, uh, five times nine, and three times five, and nine times five. Very good. This is the concept. And then you have fifteen over forty-five. By looking at this, you know which is greater. It is uh, thirty-six. Yeah. So don't panic. Don't panic when you have big numbers here. You had big numbers here. You had nineteen over twenty-five. And you had ninety nine over one thirty two. So don't panic. Just multiply this to one thirty two, and one thirty two, and ninety nine to twenty five, and one thirty two to twenty five. See, one by one, I have asked everyone that you understood this concept or no. So I will proceed to the next page. Okay. girls last lesson last lesson what did i teach you i teach you a formula it was part by whole part by whole and percent by 100 remember like i have 3 out of 5 marks how much percent did i get i don't know so what i used to do I used to send this hundred that side, three over five times hundred, and I got my answer as something three hundred five, like sixty percent. I have sixty percent marks. This is what we were doing in the last lesson. Again, we wrote part by whole equal percent equals percent. Am I correct? Over here, this was the last formula, girls. now this lesson have something new formula i always have to find out if i need to find out part if i need to find out part where am i sending the whole that side it becomes multiplication so part equals whole multiply by percent if i write in short form p equals w times percent am i correct this is yes. or part is equals to percent times whole same thing 
two times three or three times two, same. So please, here on this page, you just highlight this. We will just follow this rule. Please highlight, make a. Okay, here. Yeah. Make, make a box here on this per part is equal to person times whole. I explained you how did that come. I explained you already that how did that come. Part equals person times whole. I will relate to a question and explain you this. Now, in science class, students compare their height, their, vert their vertical reach and height to see if they are proportional. Maria is 60 inches tall and can reach 75 inches high. What percent of her total vertical reaches her height? Okay. She is 60 inches. She reaches 75. 60 out of 75. You know, 75 is the total and she reaches to her height is 60. 60 out of 75. This is 60 out of 75. And I don't know the percentage. How much percent? Because they ask you, what did they ask you in the question? Percentage. What was the formula? It was part over whole equal percentage or Part, I'm sorry, I will just put percentage there. Or part equals percentage multiplied. I told you this whole goes that side. W. This is your formula, right? So let us do 60 divided by 75. And I get it as 0 0.80. That means, of course, I will multiply to 100 and you will get 80%. What will you get? For this question, don't see this and get confused, girls. Why did they do 75 over 75? That is none of your business. Just cross multiply. This send this 100 that side and you will do it. Because you know very well to know the percentage, you must multiply by 100. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Okay. Did you copy the refer? Can I go to the next question? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know how many of you are doing. I need to check your books now. Next class, last five minutes, I will ask you all to open your books and show me the camera. Whether you have completed or not. An elephant weighs about 15,000 pounds on earth and 2,500 2, pounds on the moon. Assuming the weights are proportional, what person of its, again, they're asking you the percentage, girls. Okay, so let us do the rough work. Girls, don't panic by looking at these numbers here. How much on the moon, on the earth, he weighs 15,000. And on the moon, 15,000 out of how much? And on the moon, it's 2,000. Of course, mm -hmm. the small one up and the one in place. We'll do the small one up. First, tell me the formula. Tell me the formula. Part equals whole mm -hmm. multiplied by percent. Am I correct? Yes. Part equal whole multiplied by. Part is 2,500. Whole is 15,000. Percent, I don't know. Girls, if you don't want to do this way, you can even do this way. Part by whole equals 2 percent. So part by a whole is how much? I told you this is an easy way. 2,500 over 15,000 times 100. Because you remember this formula, like what we did last time.
So you have 25, you have 10, and you have 15. 5 times 3, 15. 5 times 2, 10. So you have 50 over 3. That is nothing but... Mm, how did they get 0 0.171? Two thousand five hundred divided by fifteen thousand. Let us use the calculator and check in. Wait a minute, please. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, girls. Wait a second. Let me use the calculator and check. Oof. Two thousand five hundred divided by fifteen equals zero point one six six. Okay. Okay, guys. Here I got it as when I did part over whole girls, when I did part over whole, that is 25,000 to 2,500 over 15,000, I got it as 0 0.167. And when I multiplied, it is almost like 16.7. Let me divide this 50 over 3. Let me divide this 50 over 3. 3 1s are 3. 2, 3, 6 is 18. 2 again, point zero. Again, 3, 6 is 18. So I got almost like 16.6. Is When I round it to it, it's nothing but 70%. This is my answer, girls. Now, what you do is you follow this procedure, girls, this procedure. This procedure is the best procedure. That is part by whole, percent by 100. Part by whole, percent by 100. They ask you to find percentage, right? So part mm -hmm. of means yeah. 500 divided by 15,000. I get as... And this 100 goes there, it becomes multiplication. So I get something like 16.7. That is nothing but 17%. Fill up these boxes, but follow this procedure. Girls. Fill up these boxes, how they said, and follow this procedure. I think the class N girls will do tomorrow. If you haven't finished writing, it's okay. Continue with your other class. We'll do tomorrow.